The Ethical Fashion Room podcast is about exploring sustainability and ethical production from an inside industry perspective. Come and join us as we share insights and knowledge so you can make an informed decision when creating your sustainable label. Meet our host, Edwina Huang. Today, it is my pleasure to actually welcome Tanya in our interview. With the growing demand of transparency and sustainability in the various different industries, such as fashions, Switzerland-based company Halexa has created the perfect solutions. Halexa's traceability technologies enable transparencies throughout the supply chain by using DMA makers to travel with the product from its source as it works its way through to its life cycle. So Halexa technology also allow brands and consumers to witness the entire history of the product. It verifies uh, uh, if it meets the sustainable and ethical standards. And today we're joined by Tanya Schlager, the director of marketing from Halexa. So Tanya's experience in marketing and consultancy makes her an ideal person to help us understand the impact of Halexa's innovation technology can have um, on the actual sustainable fashion industry. Today, I'm really happy to have you on board, Tanya. It's so amazing that we are able to have a chat with you to understand what is Halexa and what the technology is. Um, for people who are, might not actually came across with Halexa, are you able to share with us uh, the inspiration behind of starting Halexa and what industry does this technology apply to? Certainly. Um, I joined Halexa about one and a half years ago. And I can very well remember the interview um, I had and the discussion with Michaela Pudu um, during the job interview. And she mentioned that, you know, her vision for the company is to really create transparency in global um, supply chains. And by doing so, um, really empowering the end consumer so they are able to make conscious buying decisions. And at the same time, also supporting companies so they are able to proactively manage their supply chains um, according to the standards and um, according to their values. And this has really impressed me. And I said, yeah, I want to be part of this. And here I am working for Helixa. Right. And the industry you suggest is in, uh, can, can be, a, this technology can be applicable what other technology, what other uh, industries? Mm -hmm. The DNA marker can be applied to all kinds of material. There we are not limited, but we have to say that currently we work mainly for the textile industry and also have traceability solutions for gold and diamonds. Okay. Um, but I would say that, you know, the relevant factors would be addressed as, you know, proof of origin and also of product authenticity and integrity. These are topics I think that are relevant for most industries today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you walk us through um, Halexa's traceability technology a little bit more? How does mm -hmm. this traceability technology impact the textile industry? Mm -hmm. So we have developed an innovative technology that allows to mark and trace products based on DNA. And the way we are doing it is that we develop a unique marker for producer manufacturer, for example example. Um, let me make an example, I'll give you an example. Um, what we could do is, for example, we would develop a specific marker A for farmer A who produces organic cotton. Then we could develop a second marker, marker B for farmer B who also produces organic cotton. And then uh, we would use a third marker, perhaps marker C, to be applied at the spinning mill in Greece. And then, you know, what we could do in the final T-shirt, we could actually verify if you know the cotton used really was you know grown or was actually being produced at the farm A or B, and if the yarn was spun in spun in the um, spinning mill in in Greece, so that is possible. And the way we are doing it, we are using um, a test, a PCR test. You might have heard in the context of COVID, that's also been used to detect COVID nineteen. And we would flush out in the final product or any intermediate product the marker. And the way it's being done, then you need a counter agent. So it's a key lock system, which makes it also foolproof or fraud proof, is that um, you need to know which marker has been applied to be able to detect it. And then, you know, we get a yes, no answer. So yes, you know, there's a marker that indicates that this is um, 
that this t-shirt is made of organic cotton coming from um, farm A, which we have actually, um, uh, where we have applied it. And then, you know, the information itself can be uploaded on an existing ERP system or blockchain or made accessible also for end consumers. So like this, we really unravel complex global textile supply chains. Right, right, right. So what are the, some of the brands that you have worked with um, that are leading the, um, the pack in regards to traceabilities and transparency, transparency right now? Uh, and, and what are they doing right? Mm -hmm. We work, for example, with Weber, um, who produces high quality fabric. And here we marked and trace premium um, cotton coming from Egypt. We also um, work with Bury 1866, who produces premium yarn. And here we are part of a project that um, is all about sustainable um, cotton being produced in Europe, for example. A third example I can give to you is FTC Kashmir. That's a Kashmir brand. And what is really interesting is that they are 100% vertically integrated. Mm -hmm. um, still, they decided to work with us. And I asked when the founder said, listen, I mean, you really own and control your own supply chain. What is your motivation working with Helixa? And then the founder said to me, listen, Tanya, for me, it's really important that we have a neutral third party who actually, you know, verifies our claims and, you know, proves our commitment to, um, to transparency. And I think this is what all our customers have in common, is their commitment to transparency. And with our technology, we are able to provide a forensic proof. So it's all about reliable data. Yeah, yeah. And that kind of leads me to the, the, the next questions. Like, how does the concept of sustainability come into play? Obviously, you have a lot of discussion with different fashion brands as well. So how does, how does these actually connect together with your technologies and, you know, the, the way that they're working on sustainabilities? So mm -hmm. more specifically on the traceability side, for sure. I mean, if you talk about sustainability, it's quite a generic term. Yeah. Um, obviously, sustainability is linked to specific parameters or standards. Um, that are being respected by all the different players in the value chain. So what this means is that you first need um, transparency related to all the different players, which means you need to know who are the different players in your supply chain. And then secondly, you know, according to which, you know, standards, the social environmental standards do they actually produce. And then, you know, the third step, and this is where traceability comes in, is making the connection between the product and basically where it comes from, the origin and a journey it takes along the supply chain. And um, traceability is really providing this reliable data, a forensic proof, um, because the information about the original journey of the product is uh, safely embedded into the product itself um, during its entire journey. And that makes this um, special. Mm -hmm. Is there any um, existing, I guess, industry standard for transparency currently already apply on the supply chain? If there is, what 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 is that? And and also, what is with the approach that um, Halexas is doing? What changes do you actually make for the uh, textile supply chain right now that you're able to implement? Traditional methods to create supply chain transparency are, um, for example, um, chain of custody based on paper documentation. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is here that the information about the product is detached from the product itself. So um, specifically paper trails, you know, they can unfortunately easily get lost, be dupli duplicated, copied or manipulated. And even for blockchain solution as a new solution that works very well to actually, you know, um, map the different suppliers. Um, here, the value of the blockchain depends on the reliability of the data that's being uploaded. And again, here, physical traceability, what we offer, really provides this reliable data because, you know, we turn the product in itself into the care of information about its origin and journey. Right. So in that case, your technology, because it applied to the physical products and these physical products act as a, a blueprint that you can actually upload to a digital platform so that when right. this product is transferred in different stage of the supply chain, this digital, pla uh, digital platform can also transfer the data to apply to different supply chain. Uh, so different, uh, I guess, step of the supply chain, is that correct? Um, yeah, and I think what you can do, what the benefit is also, you can do the readout, the verification um, of the marker. You can do it with the um, final garment, like with the t-shirt. 
or you can do it at any intermediate step. Mm. So you, for example, before you upload the data to the blockchain, mm. so in our case, you know, with the t-shirt, for example, that we make a we tick of saying, yes, this is organic cotton coming from farm A and tick, yes, you know, this has been spun in the spinning mill in Greece. This can be uploaded in the blockchain and then, you know, being used by um, the different, you know, uh, stakeholder groups. So um, everybody internally who needs to get access in the company itself. But also, for example, what we offer is when we work with customers, some have, you know, QR codes that lead to a website. And there, you know, the information about the traceability and the journey of the product is being made accessible also for the end consumer. Mm -hmm. How does transparency, what does transparency really mean uh, for Alexa when it comes down to the textile industry? And, and why is there a need for traceability? Because like for the, for the application that we're working on, is there a lack of application right now in the, in, in the system? I think um, that's a really interesting question. Um, I see the challenge um, linked to, transp to transparency as a term, same to um, or similar to sustainability. It's such a broad and generic term mm -hmm. that, you know, I would say um, people have a different understanding. Um, think of transparency, for example. One company or brand might uh, say they're transparent because they're able to identify, for example, where the raw material is coming from. A second brand might say, yes, we are transparent because I know all my different suppliers. And a third, you know, um, brand might say, yes, um, we are transparent because I do not only know the different suppliers in my supply chain, but also according to which standards they actually um, produce. What is important for us um, uh, at Helixa is really the being able to provide a forensic proof um, and taking the product as a base. So it's all about reliable data, data that it cannot be tampered with. And I think this is the um, the key question here is that um, with all the different claims companies are making, I think, you know, um, consumers also, they want to see proof for the claims. Yeah. And that we can. Yeah. 